Hello everybody and welcome to another video of Ruby Discussion. That's what I'm going to call these um, on specific topics. Now, if you couldn't tell by what's written across the top of the screen, I would have to say... Well, I mean it's right there what this video is going to be about, but let's get into it. So, the reason why I want to talk about Silver Eyes now after everything else I've talked about in theories is... Remember back to volume three when Ruby was on top of uh, on top of Beacon? Yeah. And uh, she saw Pyrrha get well I can't say ice because she turned to ashes. That was not a good joke. I am sorry. Um, but if you remember correctly Ruby used her silver's, silver eyes as soon as she saw her friend killed. And what happened to the Grim on top of the tower? Well, we were told that the Grim was frozen in place like a statue. Actually, I think it was confirmed that it, they get put in stone or something. At least frozen still. So, here's a theory that a friend of mine... Well, to add on to this theory, a friend of mine... Which you guys will be introduced to him later when we do a, uh, a discussion about how we feel about Ruby so far as a whole. But that's not what this video is about right now. Anyways, he brought up the fact that the Grim was like frozen or turned to stone or whatever you whatever it was. Basically, frozen in time, could not move, could not hurt another soul. So, here's the thing. Remember how how uh, Salem used to be human? You could probably guess where I'm going with this. Salem used to be human a long time ago. Then when she jumped into the Grim Lake, but she was given immortality, she became, I wouldn't say full Grim, but she's like physically a Grim now. And because of that, that is why... Actually... I think that's part of the reason why Salem has been taking out silver-eyed warriors. Like, the person on the right is Maria. She had her eyes because she was a silver-eyed warrior. And unfortunately, as you... Oh, they do turn to stone because in, um, in the episode where she told her backstory, or it showed her backstory, the Grim turned to stone. So think about it. Salem may be immortal, but because she's a Grim, the Silvered Eye Warriors are her biggest threat. And that is why she said, your mother said the same thing, because Ruby's mom went up against Salem to try and stop her. And unfortunately, it's been theorized over and over again that she's dead, she's hiding, missing in action. But I'll, I, I don't want to discuss that theory because... Quite frankly, I'm kind of torn between whether she's alive or not. Anyway, so Silver Dye Warriors are a big threat to the Grim Kind. And who else is part of Grim Kind now? Salem herself. She is now literally, as I call her, the Queen of Grim. Now, the theory, this is just a theory, because we don't know if we can do this to Salem. All I know is that we can't kill her, but we might be able to freeze her, turn her into a statue, and leave her as a reminder of humanity's greatest accomplishment in the world of Remnant. Getting rid of the worst creature to ever exist. Now, I don't know how, and I don't remember, what Salem's reasoning behind killing off, well, civilized warriors. All I know is that She just wants them taken out. And I think it's because she's already figured something out. And I don't know if it's been clarified in the series yet or not, to be honest. And I don't remember. All I know is that Silvered Eyed Warriors have a huge tactic, like a huge, like, not tactic, um, advantage when it comes to fighting Grimm because of the fact that Grimm are, well, vulnerable when it comes to silver eyes. And they got silver eyes 
from the God of Light. Oh! I think I just remembered how Salem knows this. The God of Light used his silver eyes. And he destroyed all the Grimm. Like, in the, uh, the God of Darkness's uh, lair. And I don't know if that's how she made the connection or if she remembered that. But that is the only thing I can think of that would get her to go, Oh, shoot. I need to watch out for uh, people with this with these eyes. Because it's just like the God of Light. Because she probably witnessed them doing what they had done, what the God of Light had done, to the Grimm. I know this is supposed to be a theory about silver eyes, so anything goes when it comes to anything that's connected to it. So that is why Salem is convinced that the silver-eyed warriors are out to get her. Now, it might be an easy connection to make that she's already figured it out because, she, you know, the God of Light. But I don't know if it's been officially confirmed that she knows that through the God of Light or if one of the silver-eyed warriors tried to use it and she saw it. I'm just going to go with the uh, God of Light thing, theory, that... She knows it because she saw it in action through the God of Light. Now, let's just say that Ruby somehow does get the chance to use her silver eyes. Alright? On Salem. How would it work exactly? And that's part of what this video is going to be about. You see, the Grim who Maria had frozen in, well, stone, and the one that Ruby had frozen in stone is still stuck there to this day as a statue. Now, as for the one Maria used the silvered eyes on, it turned to stone and then she destroyed it. But, the only problem with Salem is she's immortal. So trying to destroy the statue would relieve her, would re relieve her, release her from her uh, stone prison. But this is, but like I said, this is just a theory. I don't know exactly how the silver eyes are going to affect Salem, but I feel like <clears throat> I've discussed with another friend that the only way to save Remnant is to get rid of Salem altogether. The only way would be to remove her from the universe, put her in space freeze her lock her up somewhere but the most logical way they would pull that off in ruby is since they can't go to space they can't send her to another dimension they can't they can't f just freeze her or lock her up somewhere because she'll get out so the best thing they can do is use the silver eyes on her to lock her in place and then hide her stone statue from the world so nobody tries to free her to create chaos again because we all know how people are. They're going to, you know, go back to chaos at some point because human beings are crazy. So, Silver Eye Warriors are a gift from the God of Light to combat Salem. That's what I feel is what happened. But it could be also so they could combat Grimm itself. But I feel like it's for a bigger purpose than just all Grimm in general. Because the God of Light probably had because based on because I don't know how the god of light and dark are able to witness the human world from the afterlife because most deities in history are able to witness their creation in person so I don't know if he went oh shoot I should give them something to be able to com combat this woman or if they realized it after Ozpin's reincarn first reincarnation, like after his second reincarnation, because after his first one that he got killed by Salem, they probably confirmed it, because they don't show what happens when Ozpin goes from dead to reincarnated. Like, does he go up to talk to the God of Light? Does he... I mean, what does he do? What happens when Ozpin dies? And... I don't know. I won't go too much into that because I don't really have enough of a theory to talk about that. All I know is that the God of Light and Dark had some way to figure out that the Silver Eyes from the God of Light were the best way to combat Salem or Grimm altogether. 
I don't know if it's just because, oh, it's a random gift by chance or something. Like, he just randomly decided, here, let's make life easier for them to combat Grim. You know? Who knows? It's, it, well, it's never established why it was given to them in the first place. The God of Light never explained, nobody explained why they received it. All we know is that it's a gift from the God of Light. Because he has silver eyes, so to speak. Now, the only problem is, is why do they have it and what is it for? And this whole theory is to point out that it's to combat Salem. But it's just a theory. I don't know what the exact purpose is, if it's just a gift, or if there's an actual purpose, other than it just being for, hey, here's something extra for you guys, you know, for every so few people, you know? But other than that, this video is probably going to be shorter because... I don't really have much to say about this because a lot has already been said. I just want to point out everything that they've already discussed and how it correlates to my theory. Now, I would have to say that my theory is pretty sound. I've had people who agree with me, and those people are going to be in my uh, in my video that I'm going to release after the volume is done, which will be a little bit, because I'm going to actually add an outro and intro to that. But, other than that, I'm just spewing, spouting, spewing, whatever, spouting information to you guys. Anyways, as I would like to say, as always, thank you all for watching, like, subscribe, comment if you want to, what you think, let me know in the comments below, and see you in the next one.